What's up YouTube? This is Cowiebunga636 here. Uh, I'm gonna do my first oil change. Uh, I'm gonna put full synthetic in there, and uh, I got my kids playing in the background, so I hope they aren't too loud. But uh, <coughs> first thing we need is 17 millimeter, and I love how Kawasaki made this hole underneath open because it makes it a whole lot easier for uh, draining purposes. All right, wasn't too bad. And uh, you get a new metal washer every time you change your oil for your bolt. If not, you're going to end up doing some damage to it right there. So we got one of those and we'll put it on whenever we go to fill it up. One of these here. So, yeah, this is the first oil change. It's uh, a little overdue. I went about 250 miles past due. But uh, it's fine, it's whatever. I'm putting full synthetic in it. I had to wash my hands. I did not realize that the, that first breaking oil was so sticky. But I guess that's to help start lubing everything up. Anyway, so while that's draining, the filter is located right here. And uh, they made it really easy to uh, just simply place a rag but yeah so you can just shove a rag right underneath this uh, drain plate here to keep from getting oil everywhere when you pop that filter off That was way too difficult without having an oil filter wrench. So, you will definitely need an oil filter wrench also. So, see? There you go. I got my rag there. Alright, so, we got the filter. Alright, and this is the new oil pan bolt ring. Alright. There's the old one. We can use that as a washer or something. Throw that in the shed. Alright. Now the key is these filters. Like I said, I got full synthetic oil. Because, uh, you know, the bike's brand new and I'm going to run it in there because that's what I'm always going to use. But you want to make sure you take your finger and run a little bit of oil around that seal and don't put it on dry because if not it might have a leak so there it is it's on there and I'm actually going to go buy a oil filter uh, wrench before I actually tighten it up and crank it because uh, I don't trust it Okay, well, while I strain, um, also, I got some new decals, since some of you know, <coughs> my, uh, intro video has, uh, transformers in it, so, obviously, it's not gonna fit on here, and I'm not gonna put it on my plastics, um, so I'm thinking I'll just stick this one right here on the inside, you know what I mean? So let's see how that works out. It's fairly clean on the inside of here because it's been in the garage. I should probably put alcohol in here, but I'm lazy. So the trick with curved with curved uh 
decals, you know, when you have it on a curved face, you want to always work <coughs> from the center out. So you can get it all out to the edges, and trust me, if you do that, it'll work. Of course, this is a very big decal <coughs> and a very big arch, so... It's all in there good. And there it is. Transformers. Alright. The Kawasaki. I'm thinking about making this two different stickers. Or. Or I could put it like this. But. I'm thinking no, I'm thinking I want to do two separate stickers. So we have the K. Alright, this is basically just the same thing, this is just not a clear bag. So, Kawasaki. Alright, and uh, I actually, <coughs> I have that tattooed on me. So, that's how you know you're a true, uh, you know. How you truly love your bike, your bike brand. And I'm gonna stick this bad boy Kawasaki right up here next to a few good old boys. Yusef 636, Jake the Garden Snake, and Oi Dirk. Let's go right here. The only reason why I bought those stickers was because my wife and I took the kids to a sort of a festival thing here in our local town today. So I saw the decals and figured it'd be cool to add them to the bike. Alright, so now I just need to put my bolt back in and I'll be good to go. So, I did it. I went and got the ring. Not too bad, a little scratches, but whatever, it's not professional, alright? It's cool. It's on there, everything's tight, everything's good to go. Now, it's time to fill her up with some synthetic oil. And yeah, I honestly should, uh, got a filter. Alright, so. How many quarts does it take? Okay, so it doesn't really say the actual how many millimeters or liters or whatever. So it's got the old sight glass thing. Yeah, of course I know where the damn cap is and where the ad mark is and all that. So I guess we'll have to go by that, I guess. <coughs> I'm just going to automatically assume that it's going to be at least three and a half quarts. So I'm going to put three in there and see where we're at. Number two. I'm gonna try to get all I can out of it right here. So yeah, it's probably three and a half. That looks full. Looks over full, actually. But um, once the engine gets crunk, once it gets cranked up and uh, oil filter fills up a little bit. It should be A-OK. -okay. So, that's it for now, guys. Peace.